Uh, my name is Raina Oates. I'm a mortgage loan originator with Telhio, and I have been here for about five years. One of the most common questions that I get being in mortgage um, is what the minimum down payment is. So if you're a first time home buyer, it's 3%. Um, for anybody else on a conventional loan, it's gonna be 5%. Um, but there are other options too, even if you're not a first time home buyer, you can do as little as 3.5% down on a conventional loan. Um, and if you're a veteran, you might be able to skip the down payment altogether. Another really common question that we get is the difference between the types of loans that we offer. Um, at Telhio, we offer conventional financing, we offer FHA loans, and we do some VA lending as well as a few other too. Conventional financing and FHA are different in a sense that conventional loans have more credit requirements, whereas FHA loans are a little bit easier to qualify for um, and typically have a lower down payment requirement. Not only that, conventional loans are also more credit driven, um, whereas on an FHA loan, your PMI factor is gonna be the same regardless of your credit score. VA loans are also nice in that there's no down payment requirement and there's also no PMI, so you can avoid that altogether if you're a veteran. PMI is private mortgage insurance. Um, it's the mortgage that goes on your loan. It's not the same as your homeowner's insurance that you pay separately to protect you. Um, it's the insurance that covers your lender. Another common question that we get when we're talking about down payments is closing costs. Most people wanna know what they are and who pays them. Um, so closing costs are any expenses that you incur when you buy a home that are on top of your down payment. Um, and they cover things like your appraisal fee, um, title costs, if you choose to purchase discount points, that would be part of it as well. Um, and then funds that go into escrow. So you have all these different things that come together to make up your total closing cost number. Um, and that is on top of your down payment. And that's usually what comprises your cash to close. Closing costs will vary depending on the price point that you buy at and where you buy. So talk to your loan officer to get a better idea of about how much to expect. When we're talking about closing costs, one of the common questions we run into are what are discount points um, and whether or not it makes sense for you to spend your money on them. Discount points are when you pay money upfront to reduce your interest rate. Um, so in doing that, you're saving yourself money over time. It may or may not make sense for you to buy discount points depending on your situation. Um, if your debt to income is right on the cusp of you qualifying or not qualifying, then buying points might make sense. Or if you're gonna be in the home for a long time and you know you'll recoup the cost of buying down the points, that's another time that it might make sense to buy points. It all just depends on how much you're spending and how long it will take you to break even versus how long you're actually going to occupy the home. If you have any other questions about discount points or the mortgage process, you can reach out to a loan officer or you can visit us at telhio.org mortgage.